Let me show you an example. Let's say we have some employees and their salaries are different, their departments also are different, and we need to find the average salary of each department. In this case, first we need to partition the employees according to their department, okay? Partitioning by, then by using averaging int uh, method, we may get the average salaries of each department. So this will output. 4,000, uh, this will output 1,500, uh, okay? This is wrong. Now let's implement this solution. For this, I'm creating a class employee first. And for a quick demonstration, I will only use the salary and department okay. we may also use the name of the employee okay let's use uh, access modifiers this time they will all be private and then a constructor okay then we will put uh, getters and setters all of these attributes set it all and okay after that I will create our main class collector example and the main method inside it. Here I will create a list of employee. Okay, employee list, new array list. Now let's add some employees here. New employee salary 500 department is administration department let's say job we will create another administration employee 400 is salary let's say mark and then it talha and then 2000 IT Julia okay now now let's first find the cost of these employees to our company first without grouping or something we need to create a stream first from this collection and then collect and inside collect we need to use a pre-built uh, collector summing Int, that's all. And, and inside the summing int function, we will pass another function to uh, declare what to sum. It is simply employees get salary method. Okay? Since this method is not static, we cannot use like this. That's why I'm switching to lambda expression and I'm invoking this method. As you can see, getSeller method returns a double. That's why summing it method cannot be used. That's why I'm changing it to summing double. That's all, okay? All the alternatives are built, pre-built by Java uh, community, okay? Summing double. And we are reducing the streams items into a single result. Let's assign the result to a double cost, okay? And print out the value. So we have sum up all the salaries. That's all. For readability, I'm breaking the lines. Stream may be on the first line. It's okay. Let me label this total cost. Now let's find the departments according to this employee list, the unique departments, how to do that. Again, we need to convert this list into a stream and then distinct, okay? But distinct method does not get a parameter, that's why here we need to map the items into uh, string values, the department names. That's why I'm using lambda expression here and I will get the department name okay we will first map the item to a department name and then distinct 
the values according to these department names and then for each and the department names will be printed out since we refer the method we use this operator again you are familiar with this usage and I'm breaking the lines for readability let's see the result so our department is admin and IT now let's put these department names into a list of string now because we will further process these department names okay again I will use the string method first and then map the department name get department and then distinct and then now we will put all these items into a list for this we will use collect method first because collect method reduces the stream into a single object or collection and I will pass a prebuilt collector with collectors utilities uh, class collectors dot to list is what I will use okay and now I may assign the department names to a list of strings okay department list and let's print out department list size we have okay and let me debug this code this time to see what we have after this reducing operation now we are here let's see what we have in department list by inspecting you see we have an array list and inside the array list we have two values admin and it the size is two and the output will also be two have two departments that's all now you may process this list further all you do all you do is to reducing this collection into a list okay let's say you want to put all these department names into a map in this case you will use the same thing but this time you may use another prebuilt collector with collectors utility class and you may say to collection and you may use a hash set implementation for instance how we refer to a constructor this operator and then new and you will get a hash set a set of string and you may say the department set since you are using a set implementation the duplicate items will be removed automatically for this you don't need the distinct function let's use department set here and let's debug this code again debug real application and on this line let's check the department set as you can see we have a set and inside the set we have two keys admin and the other is IT okay so I have demonstrated how we can put the items after some processes into another collection